Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Shogu 2, the Obama, the Republic Legendary Challenge, sponsored by my lovely daimyo patron, Mr. Steve, or Sir Steve. Last time we left off, we had defended Yamashiro with this uh, rather large uh, force against an army and a half or so. Uh, we got probably a little bit lucky that the game bugged out again, and my units didn't respond, but nor did the enemies, so that was good. Um, anyway. We are attacking them. I kind of just did this to save the game uh, last time because I had a, an, an, a thingamajig pop up, which wouldn't have saved otherwise. Uh, a choice event, if you will. Um, but I'm actually going to fight this one because despite the fact that we both have a parrot gun, I have first person shooting me. What the fuck? This is a bridge battle. Can't say I expected that. And they're defending it too. Why wouldn't I expect that? They were literally standing on a bridge. It doesn't matter anyway. We're close to the bridge. But the point is, what I was going to say, is that uh, I have the ability to fire the cannons myself, which means I could fire longer than the actual distance uh, or range. So I could, if I wanted to, if, and if I have enough ammo, hopefully, uh, I can just take out their paired guns of mine before they even get a chance to do anything. Or I can just do as much damage to their army as possible. It'll take some time, but it'll be quite fun. So... There's that as well. Uh, I am going to set up kind of towards the back. Um, yeah, I'll have you on the flank, but not you. And you can be back here too, and you can be back here. That's fine. Our range right there, yeah, they'll certainly not be in range. A little bit closer is fine. Um, because the only way to cross is actually right there. So I should actually put my army towards there as well. In case they decide to come over for whatever reason. Well, actually, no. They, if we manage to take out their cannons, then they will eventually come over. Uh, all right. Today, sir, we attack. We can't actually see them. What the fuck are we? Is this okay? Let me just try a random shot. Okay, that's uh, the right direction, but way too far. Wait, is that? That doesn't save my fucking distance. So I gotta fucking guess every single time. That's no good. Oh no, it's okay. There we go. I saw their cannon was towards the right of the general. I might just try and snipe this general. I'm worried about running out of ammo, but it's okay. It's like this might hit someone. Yeah, there you go. Kill a whole bunch of dudes. This might hit their general, or is it long? No, it's right on his fucking face. That's a pretty good shot. Hopefully we get another couple like that. I'm gonna keep aiming at exactly the same spot. I learned something yesterday. Someone commented. I'm still waiting for on my uh, artillery only series that was, but still. I'm still waiting for the time where you kill a general in on the first shot. And someone replied, and I didn't know this. A general has to lo lose half of its men before he himself can die. Which is completely new to me. I, I didn't know that was a thing. But yeah, apparently... The unit has to lose half of its men before the actual general can die. Oh, that was just too long. I'm, I've not moved the shot, by the way, for a while. Because it was fucking pinpoint accuracy. But yeah, another hit or two directly on the general and he will die. That might just kill some men. No, that was apparently just a little bit short. It's a shame we don't know where the general or the cannons are. That definitely killed some men. I mean, I'm not running out of ammo anytime soon, so I'm very happy to keep doing this. I could triple speed it a little bit, but I'm really not worried about it. Maybe in a bit. That might hit snow. More men, though. We killed uh, quite a few men already. It's just unfortunate I can't quite get that general, and that's going to kill some more. Not very many, though. Move to the left a little bit, because I keep seeing to... Oh, that was... I was going to say, I seem to keep hitting just to the right of the general, but... Scratch all that. That's gonna go wide. Maybe something like that. Ooh, that looks good. No, that's too high. Should have waited it. Waited it out. That's just not quite. The army is pretty small, so the chance the, the fact that I've hit so many men already is actually pretty nice. It's too wide and too sideways. It's a shame the general's unit's so small. I mean, it's a good thing, obviously, because any hit I get is going to kill vital men in the unit, but still. 
Which I think triple speed is... No. That's in the later games. I thought it was T, but it's not. I don't know what the help key is and I don't care enough. Oh, that's a hit on the general. No, it's in front of him. Kill another fucking 20 men or so. That's gonna hit the general. That was right in front of him. May have hit or killed or one or two of his units. I don't think it did since he, none of them moved. That's hopefully gonna kill some men on the side again. Oh yeah, that was a lovely hit. But yeah, this is uh, this is fine by me. I'm totally willing to keep doing this for a little while. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. I mean, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, watch my artillery-only saga campaign. And every single battle is just this. Except more fun, because it actually has moving units and a lot of cannons firing at the same time. I'm, almost, I'm half expecting the you've triumphed over the enemy, sir! Or whatever he says to pop up soon. Because we have been... We've got a couple hundred kills probably on this unit now. Well, maybe not a couple hundred, but a hundred and something. I'm willing to bet. God, it is fucking difficult though. I gotta remember they still have a parrot gun, so... If I don't kill it, then it is gonna start doing damage to me as well. Oh, God, can I just get a couple more hits? It's been a while now. That's gonna hit something. No, it's short. No, it is gonna hit something. No, it's not. There's nothing there. We already killed a lot of men there. That's the right range. And it did kill some men. Good. Not short. Again. I haven't moved the shot in so long as well. Like, I keep leaving it on the same distance. There we go. There we go. I saw the second guy in the row also fly to the side. I was like, wait, was that him or no? And apparently it was. Okay, so we killed a general. Maybe we should try aiming for the actual cannons, but I think it's going to be very difficult to kill it. It was somewhere towards the right, but God knows where. Maybe around here? Yes, apparently. Yeah, that was it. Unless that was... Yeah, there's a dead horse. I think that uh, I think that may have been just a saber cab or something. I don't know. They had one of those still, didn't they? This is gonna hit the same unit then. Nope. Maybe it was the cannon horse. I don't know. If it was the cannon horse, we'd see a lot more dead horses, though, wouldn't we? Oh god. We are actually starting to run out of ammo now. I just realized. That killed some men, but what the fuck unit was that? Alright, I think we've uh, had our fun. How many kills? 172. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do something risky. Very risky. Fucking hell. Um, nah, that's not worth it. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was gonna make them go out of, like, run out of ammo, but I don't think that's worth it. I'm gonna limber you guys up. We're gonna start walking there. You're gonna run. Well, you get across there. I want to make it so I can see their cannons, which there they are. You guys actually wait. I'm, st I'm still gonna do this plan. I need them to get into range of the cannons. And then we'll just make sure we keep seeing them. Maybe we can just see them right now. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're not firing at me. We can just see them. Wait, no, that's not the cannons. That's the cannons. We did, we did hit the cannons then. Uh, actually, no, we can just lim Yeah, we can just fire at them then, that's fine. Just limber up here. Or unlimber, whatever, the, whichever one it is. Because if I move into range, then it's gonna fire at me, we don't want that, so... We'll just do this. Oh my god. Good first shot. But now we can see the units, which is a lot easier. I should have done that right away, but I figured I'd have to move a lot closer than I did to be able to see them. Wait, are they moving? It certainly looked like some horses were moving. Oh! I think I may have triggered them to come towards me. Which means if they walk into range of my cannons, we're gonna start shooting them. 
That guy was just getting up and then he got shot. That's the general's unit. Yeah, the cannons are still there, but they're gonna move into range soon. Oh my. Did I ca take care of a cannon? I might have. If I hadn't yet, then, then should, that should have. <laughs> I am almost out of ammo now, though. I think the cannon's still alive, but... Damn it. That's short? Yeah, just about. The amount of men we killed, and there's still so many remaining. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. That's gonna hit. Oh, what a fucking hit it was, too. I don't know what their cannons are doing, but they should be. Yeah, they're well into range already. Why aren't we firing? Go on. There you go. They're not coming into range, so I don't know what they're doing, but... There we go. It's a shame they went for that unit right there. Go for the Saber Cavs. That's not only the biggest unit, but also just the biggest target. You guys stay back there. That's totally fine by me. You can head back a little bit. Parrot gun definitely fires a lot slower than the... Uh... Wait, what? Why is it saying parrot guns? What the... <laughs> that says they're all parrot guns by owned by the Obama. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, they do fire a lot slower than um, Armstrong guns. It's quite noticeable, really. Holy shit, will you please fire again? Thank you. I wonder if we're going to make them ride with just one parrot gun. I also wonder what they're going to do. Are they going to set up or are they going to keep moving? Like, are they going to... Because they're in range of my cannons, but they're nowhere near in range of... Well, not nowhere near, but they're not in range of my other units yet. You're going to move back for sure now, though. Make sure they don't get sniped. That would be pretty sad. Hit time to fire that unit instead. Can we make them route? A unit has used all oh shit, no! Oh, that's triggered them to go back because we've run out of ammo. That's rough. I didn't think about that. That's quite bad. They're all running back now. And they still have gun units as well, which we don't, so... I should have... Ugh, I did not think about that. I should have kept, like, one round of ammunition just so they kept coming. They were almost across the fucking... If they'd just been over here, it would have been okay, because they would have had to cross the bridge again, but... Alright, whatever. There's not much we can do. I'm gonna try and make them come back towards me, but... It's gonna be very dangerous. And also, this parrot gun unit is gonna be problematic now. Still 29 men in there, too. We're gonna be tired by the time we get here as well. Well, so are they. I'm hoping to trigger, like, yes, something like that. Please get some shots off. Your general is under attack. All right, they should route, I think. If not, we got to get out of there. There we go. Alright, so that's our cavalry gone. Okay, oh, I was just about to say, their cannons haven't fired yet, so that's good. And then, boom. Boom, boom. Now we just got to make sure you don't get sniped, because that would be very sad. But, judging from that rule, if it is true, they need to lose at least 12 or 6 more men before this unit can even die. They're not going to be able to get too many volleys off on me, but... Oh god, that is so fucking painful, dude! Holy shit. Can't really do much either, because they have line infantry still, so... I can't just really get this guy here and start shooting at them. Although I'm still going to try something along those lines. What I could do is go into loose formation. You guys can rapid advance. You guys can banzai! Although that means you're going to get shot by the line infantry first, which is not exactly what we want, but... Yeah, 
At least you're on loose formation. I guess that's okay. Sweeps them from the field. Alright. Probably shouldn't be in loose formation anymore. That's how these 20 men are going to fire another volley. A triumph, yay! Don't shoot it. Alright. Kind of unfortunate we lost all the men this year to the volley units, but hey. They should be dead. Fully. And hopefully I can get a vassalage out of them. Decisive victory. Good stuff. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. All right. If not, I have to kill the other army off as well. Really? No, they should be dead. Nope, they're not dead. That's a little surprising. Can you please just take my offer for peace? Thank you. And my vassalage and my trade. And your money. Speak! And try to make sense. Speak! Eek! Ah, will you please just... Okay, what about 50? What about 100? What about 2,000? Okay, 100 is fine. Alright. Um, they are probably going to join my war against the Sayama. No. Okay, that's good. Because I don't necessarily want them to get killed immediately. But they are now Shogunates. Shogunates! Okay. Right. Well, we have a Paragon now. I'm certainly going to keep it. It's not the best cannon unit, but it's certainly worth using for sure. Faux show. Um, I want someone to keep, to keep track of these dudes, because there was an army here. There it is. Okay, I have a pretty decent chance of taking it if they come for me they come from a land down under oh my god the yari key i'll certainly keep those as well if i take them that is probably still one town all right so they're still on their way to awari again this is not a full stack anymore and that is a level five fucking general and these guys are incredibly experienced I mean, they have fucking charge bonus too. God, even with that experience, their their melee stats are actually surprisingly good, but their uh, range stats are still shit. Also, I love that 60 at upkeep when I pay 90 for the same unit because legendary difficulty. There, 90. Although you could technically say maybe the general has some bonuses to reduce the upkeep cost, but no. But no. Um, alright, let's just hope he doesn't, or this army doesn't have any, uh, Armstrong guns, by the way. Oh, shit. That's cheap as fuck, son. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to do that, to be honest. Level up two. I'll take that. Take that all the way to the bank, boy. Uh, all right. So, what do you what do you want to what do you become a good in? I don't really care about inciting revolts too much, but that might be pretty useful. Subduing dissidents is what we want. So we definitely want those. I think we just want this as well. So I might just put a point in here. I could go for a coercing troops, but uh, yeah, that's probably more useful for now actually. No. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't know where it, the rebellion is, but it should be somewhat useful at least. Although then again, if it takes this town, no, that's probably. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. What I certainly want to do is stay next to this army here and hope it doesn't go into the town. And then if it moves out, I take it, and then with it we take Kawachi or something anyway, and then Kablui. Yes, All right, so you're my friends now. Friend. Um. Do you go to Iga? I kind of want this cannon up here, so I'm going to start running it over there. I wonder if it would have been worth attacking them again. I might have captured this. Ooh, I should have done that, shouldn't I? 
one is kind of shit, because it slows down your entire army for... Eh, it's, it's still worth it, but it slows down your entire army for it. But taking two, then, I mean, your army is already slowed, so it doesn't matter. I have an extra one, and two cannons all of a sudden. Very fucking good. Also, we're maxed out experience on the Shogi Tai right here. Holy shit. Uh, do you wait in Yamashiro to be... I think we just gather you guys up. I think maybe these guys are going to be in this army from now on. Right. That's a point. I should spend my money on something. Now, I want to spend... Some, uh, like, I want to basically keep, uh, let's see, 500, 2,500 Koku, so I can get this next turn. That's not enough, is it? No. Uh, in two turns, I want to start recruiting units as well here, and quite fucking fast as well. Mm, okay, we'll upgrade a gambling den here and there. No, only one. Wait, so probably not this one. I could cancel something as well, of course, but... This allows me... Yeah, that gives me just about enough money, but that, that's not what I want, because that's fucking... No, that doesn't give me more money. This keeps, gives me enough money for next time as well, which is quite useful. And I do need to get this at some point, so I think we'll make a small pause for making money-making buildings. Atio, come on. Let's hope this, these guys don't betray me, by the way. They like me. They should do. They're very fucking friendly. No marriage, unfortunately, we can do. Alright. I should be able to take one more time before we're on divide. I really hope so, because otherwise I'm kind of fucked. Right, I want you to keep up the exploration, because the other guy was doing it, but he's done. He's staying next to that force right there. Right, Dar. I wonder if I should have actually sent back one of these two units to go back into this army, because we have a space here now. Um, we got another Shinzengumi. I kind of want a Shinzengumi, but I don't think I have enough money next turn if I do that for the sabotage. But then again, it might not even be the next, next turn that I want to do this. Plus, I don't even know if I want Kawachi. I'd rather have Yamato, but... Or Ize, yeah, I probably, yeah, my, my vote goes to Ize, so I don't even really want to do this. This should be a defensive thing, so I should spend my money the way I want to spend it. I, of course, still need to have the money for it, but... Uh, but yeah, Ize is my choice, and then we'll defend from here against these two towns, or these three, but this one doesn't really count, so these two, and then we'll defend from here as well. And then, yeah, we should be fairly safe while we make money and get everything in preparation for the round, or the, yeah, the round divide. So yeah, we'll get a Shinzengumi here. I'll keep the rest of my money though, I think. Unless I want to cancel this and build something else after all, which Yeah, let's not let's not put a hold on making money yet. I want more money. That said, I, I still do need to get that at some point. Even yeah, no, no, I yeah, no. Sorry. We're gonna do that after all. Because getting this will allow me to get revolver cavalry. And once we have this available, we can get revolver cavalry, then that's going to be the end unit, like, it's going to have full accuracy, we don't need to wait for anything else, so that unit is going to be in the final armies, whereas the line infantry aren't, like, they're going to be replaced by Republican infantry, but if I can start recruiting the revolver cavalry at least, then we don't have to worry about doing that later. Now, what else can I do? Nothing, okay. Alright, let's see if they turn back and attack me. <laughs> Shit, the annoying thing is, if they take a Wari as well... Then we take Ize. Then they have a Wari behind me also. What the fuck is that army? They best not be at war with my friends over here. Oh, they've not taken it. That's good. So they survive. They will survive. They will survive. Autumn. A season for change. Leaves playfully mock the wind. Autumn has come. Okay. They have several wooden cannons and Yarikachi, at least five, possibly six or seven. That's scary as heck, dude. I'm not even sure. Like, infant. God, even ranged infantry, we are, je like, definitely better, but the amount of experience they've got. These guys aren't gonna route easily. Nah, eh, we've got experience as well, actually, not that much less either, to be honest. Uh, but their morale actually is higher than mine, I just realized. 11, 11, 11. 
mine are like 11, 12, 9, 9, 10, and even 9 to 12 basically. Uh, this force is still here. Yeah, if you guys just stay there, that'd be fine by me. I need to know if they've got anything else coming this way. Yes, but more Yariki. No, you go this way, actually. Okay, and I want you to go this, down this way. Because they have a rebellion here. Oh shit, that's quite a large force as well. God damn it, we're going to have to deal with that as well now. Yeah, we're not going to be able to keep that or anything. That's possibly worth doing. I'll hold off for a second. You're still coming that way. There's no two ways about that. You are going to go into Ega, I think. May as well pop you in the army for now then. Now you can reach. How about that? Um, okay. What shall I spend my money on? This one? No. Yes, this one and then this one comes later. I can build one of these as well, sure. I'll build myself a gambling den. <sighs> okay, I really don't want to attack them because they've got wooden cannons. Now wooden cannons are quite shit, but still that means we're walking into their fire whereas they're otherwise running into my fire. So I could run back to Mino, but then they could just go and attack Omi. I could run into Omi, but then they can just go and attack Mino. And if they do s attack Mino, then they can just go to Hida. So we have to stop them. But I think I am going to try and make them attack me instead. Maybe they'll turn back and deal the Rebellion first, in which case we can have the cannon come in and join us. Yeah, I think I'm going to sit here. That way they shouldn't be able to reach Omi, because they'd have to go around me. And even if they do, I guess we can siege them out, and then we have the cannon coming in too. But that's not really something I should care about or think about. I should have still moved one of these units up there. Why did I forget? Well, maybe it's good to keep them in there, just so this army has some, like, aces up its sleeve. And isn't just entirely useless. Right, you I'm a little worried about. Are you at war with my vassal? You are indeed at war with my vassal. May I ask you not to be at war with my vassal? Welcome indeed, my, be my vassal. Friend. It's funny as well, because they've got fucking nothing here. I could just take them out right now. They're going to kill my vassal, and then they're next to me. And then I guess I could see if they want to ally with me. Which I suppose is okay. Uh, anyway, I think that's the end for now. Just got to wait and hope they attack me, really. So let's do it. Please run into my army and attack me. I never checked for trade anymore, actually. Should have done so. I don't think there's any available though, but still. Okay, not... Okay, never mind. They took it already. I was going to say not yet, but that's only if they attack me. Alright, they ran into it. And actually, it's in, a, it's in our favor. Which I wasn't quite expecting. Five Yarikachi are definitely the thing I'm most worried about. But that said, like even these guys are pretty scary because of their amount of experience. The wooden cannons are not a problem because they're out of range. Much like Kachi, not really a problem either. They have 10, we have 12, so we have more of them. They have one of these as well, so 11 versus 12. And then we only have 4 Spear Living against their 5 Yari Kachi, and theirs obviously are better than mine, so... I don't know how this is going to go, but we should be able to win this. Well, we'll definitely... We probably will win this, obviously, but it's not straightforward, as straightforward as it looks. Either way, next time. Until then, have a good day, and goodbye.